Hey Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's Michelle, your practical priestess here at Divinely Genuine. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I'm uh, messing with my area again. So we're here to do y'all's full moon tarot reading for the full moon on May 29th, I believe is the day that the full moon is, um, of 2018. So I have communed with spirit, um, shuffled and blessed the deck, and I'm ready to cut it on camera, I'm trying to do shorter videos. So yeah, all right, let's get to it. And this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So if you are here because you're an Aries Sun sign, that's awesome and welcome. But you also have a Moon sign. And if you carry more of a feminine energy, you might resonate more with a Moon sign. And you have an Ascendant sign. Google your natal birth chart and you'll be able to find those out. And then you can watch whatever video um, your Ascendant and Moon sign are. And then you can um, see which one resonates best, okay? All right, get some crystal love. And let's get into it. All right, full moon for Aries. I just want to check the date. Oh, I do have a calendar in here. For the full moon because I think that's what it is but I'm not sure um, yes May 29th it is on a Tuesday all right perfect Ooh. okay and I need my faithful bookie as I'm learning tarot you know I call my tarot readings intuitive tarot because it is the divine, I'm blessing them, it's all channeled, um, all pure, coming from spirit, blessing it for what the divine is choosing as, the, as far as the cards go. But I'm also learning tarot, so that's why I use the book. So, Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. So Aries, we have reversed the Three of Cups. See, the camera is so far. I'm sorry guys, I wonder if I do it like this, can y'all see? No. It's the Three of Cups reversed. And it is celebration and abundance, I believe. And being that it's reversed is going to represent a more inward state is the way I read the cards. It's joy and abundance. Happiness, sharing with others, friendship, groups, socializing. In social events, expressing joy in the everyday world, a feeling of grace and blessing, celebration and reasons to party, everything fun that life has to offer, being in the moment and enjoying life. How beautiful is that, right? Especially with things being so intense and crazy. Um, that's awesome. So you guys are feeling joyful and abundant and celebrating life this full moon. We've got the full card reversed to back that up as advice from spirit. And the full card is fearlessly revealing emotion. You guys are really, you guys are good at that. Y'all rush into things like without thinking. You just full force. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because you guys also are the first to get a very big, you know, big or small idea up off the ground and into fruition. fruition. So, that y'all do, y'all ru rush in like the ram. Um, so, fearlessly revealing emotion, helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy. That's the light side of the card, okay? Shadow attribute is using humor to wound rather than liberate, okay? Denial of your emotional truth. So yeah, Aries, don't deny your own emotional truth. Get quiet, you know, take a moment before you rush into something. Take a moment at these times that you're celebrating with friends and really decide how you feel before you open your mouth and maybe, you know, 
speak something that's not, um, you know, maybe at someone else's expense. You don't want to hurt any feelings. Um, and, you know, maybe think twice before taking action. And just make sure you're acting from how you genuinely feel. Okay? And then we're going with the Nine of Wands here um, upright. And the nine represents completion in numerology. Wands typically represent ideas. Okay, so the nine of wands in tarot is the strength of the will. The wounded warrior, perseverance, strength of will, never giving up, fighting despite loss or injury, fighting a losing battle, Conserving your energy for the opportune moment. Being given no respite or let up. Being in the eye of the storm. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Okay. Alright, so you've got a celebratory time that you're feeling. And you're fearlessly revealing emotion. And then some, your strength is tested. Some wounds... Well, more, more like some wounds come up and you have the strength of will to get through it. And then we have the Addict card, backing that up as the advice, and it's reversed as well, which is going to represent an inward state. The Addict card helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. That is the light side of it, okay? So it's helping you recognize and confront the addictive behavior. Um is the best possible outcome for the addict card, right? It is showing you, hey, this is what it is. Take care of it, handle it, so that it doesn't handle you. I'm gonna try to get this closer. He is pushing that water away that is about to engulf his life and drown him, okay? So you don't want the addictions to take your life away, okay? The shadow side, Compromises integrity and honesty allows an addictive pattern to have authority over inner, your inner spirit. Okay, so again, make sure you're coming from your true emotion. And if you're addicted to any kind of substance or aggressive behavior or any kind of negative like patterns, they are um, counteracting with your true soul and what your soul's desire is. Okay. And um, you have the strength of will with the Nine of Wands to face, recognize, and confront those addictive behaviors, okay? Now, if you're not addicted to, like, cannabis or, or wine or alcohol or any kind of substance, then maybe look at your food, your habits. What is it that you could do without? And without it, you're better, okay? We all have something, right? Um, but even more so, think addictively. Like, what are you addicted to? Is it sugar? Is it sleeping late? Like, what are you addicted to? What is, has taken over that you don't have control of? Okay? And you do have the strength. Then we have the seven of wands. So seven, another wand. Seven in astrology represents the house of Libra. It is your opposite house, opposite sign, and it represents others, relationships, okay? Again, wands typically is ideas. Seven of wands is the heart of the warrior, and you guys are totally warriors, totally warriors. Um, I can't think of it right now. My bag's not over here, but I'm in the process of publishing my first book on moon signs, and um, I can't think of what I named you guys in there, because I started to come up with names for each sign, but I didn't do it for every sign. I just did it for some, and you guys were something warrior, because you're totally, totally warriors, and I find it so funny that you've got the strength of will as the warrior with the nine of wands and then you've got the heart of the warrior with the seven of wands and it's true um aries you guys when you're inspired by those you love 
or things you love, your passions, you guys will move mountains for them. It's, it's beautiful. Okay, so again with the Seven of Wands, it's a hard fight, battling against depression and bullying, standing up for what you believe in, supporting the underdog, giving everything to overcoming an obstacle, defense, facing opposition that seems insurmountable, courage, valor, to live for a cause, yes. I mean, we're here for a short time. And we will, we will eventually not be here. And what are we living for? You guys are the best at getting things up to fruition, like I said. So whatever you're working on, whatever you have, keep moving towards it. Move towards your passions, Aries. We need you guys. It's not going to be easy, you know. Nothing that's worth it ever is, right? So it may be a hard fight. You may have a million things come against you, and that's when you know you have the strength. You have the strength to do it. You very well can. And then in backing this card up in the advice position, you have the beggar card. The light attribute of that is confronts empowerment at the level of physical survival. Awakens the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. Okay? So it confronts empowerment at the physical level. Something I'm realizing right now as Jupiter is causing me to expand and grow in this area um, is our money, our monetary physical survival is directly in relation to our self-value and self-worth. And it makes perfect sense. I never really thought about it though. You know, so... The higher your self-esteem, the higher your confidence, the higher your self-value, the more skills you have, the more, the, the higher you bring that self-value up, the more you have to offer, which will be reflected back to you monetarily, right? Okay, so you're confronting empowerment at the level of physical survival, awakening the spiritual authority of humility, compassion, and self-esteem. Shadow side of this card is dependence on others to the exclusion of effort. Okay? I really don't see you guys doing that much. You guys are all about effort and action. So just make sure that you know who you are. Stay in tune with your emotions. Stay in tune with what inspires you with your passion so that you can do and become everything you dream to be. So you're celebrating with the Three of Cups. You're celebrating with friends. You're socializing. You're having a good time. You're celebrating life, and it's beautiful. And you are fearlessly re revealing emotion. Okay? You also are going to be tested with addictions and know that you have the strength of will to overcome those wounds. And that is the, the Nine of Wands with the strength of, the, of will. You have the heart of a warrior to get through and to, to um, get through any obstacles that try to get in your way as you face the physical survival, raise your self-esteem, face the, um, what is it? Take back your power, basically. Know that you will survive and you will do it well because you have the heart of the warrior. You are on a mission, a great mission, and you will do it. Okay, Aries, so that's y'all's tarot reading for the full moon on May 29th. Woo! <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for y'all's support. Check out the website and my Facebook page, Instagram, Divinely Genuine. Love you guys. Peace.